Hi, welcome to Hexus TV. We're on the huge zoo stand on the first day of CBIT. I'm here with Jackie Zhu, who's the Vice President of Sales. Jackie, welcome yes. to Hexus TV. Hi, uh, everybody. I'm Jackie. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Okay, we've been coming to CBIT for probably 10 years now, and every year, Zeus has had a big stand. Uh, do you see this continuing? Because we've seen the show get smaller and smaller. Mm -hmm. So is CBIT still a very important focus for you? Okay, uh, actually this is a very good question. Uh, in, past two, uh, in past few days, we have discussed this question again, and uh, now we can still see the value of, the, of this show because, number one, uh, we, can so, uh, we can see so many uh, distributors from Pan Europe and also local resellers as well. Uh, uh, now we are developing not only the uh, com original component pieces, but also the branded uh, system products. So we think you know, we, can, uh, we can leverage this show to attract a customer's eye and also present our uh, new, uh, newest products. Okay. As the Vice President of Sales, has it become more and more difficult in the last two years to sell? And if so, what are you doing to innovate and become better? Okay. Uh, Yes, uh, we have uh, we, uh, we have encountered a very very challenging time. However, you know, uh, based on our best product and our customers' help, we, uh, we think we have recovered very soon and very well now. Uh, in past months, we have discussed with all of our customers, and now they have a very good uh, forecast in the coming months. So we think the tough time has been uh, has gone already. Okay, thinking about 2010, what are the biggest opportunities and what are the biggest challenges you face personally? Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, there are two directions I think we have to uh, we have to develop and encounter. Number one is uh, sorry, overcome. Okay, number one is the people because you know uh, if we want to have a very successful business, people is a uh, people is always the key factor to. Uh, to explore our business and to extend our business. Uh, luckily, we have a very good uh, localized uh, process. And now, uh, in different countries, we have very good local team and very good local customers. I think that is a good sign. The second one is, uh, everybody knows, before ASUS was very famous on motherboards, that is our foundation. And now, we are developing not only motherboard business, but also the VGA card, ODD drive, LCD monitor, wireless product, and the server as well. So I think another challenge is, how can we extend our su success from the original product to every single product now? If you were to pick one sector, where's the biggest room for improvement? Because no company is perfect. Mm -hmm. So looking at this year, in which area would you really want to focus on and become, say, the number one company there? Okay, uh, that is a very good point, you know. Uh, we, 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 have, we are very successful on multiple business. And uh, globally, our market share is around uh, 35 to 40%. Actually, now in Pan Europe, our market share is even higher than our global ranking is around uh, 40 to 45 in different countries. Uh, but as I mentioned in the beginning, we still need to extend that business, uh, the success, success, not only on the original motherboard, but also on every single new product. I think that is a very, very tough. But uh, recently, we have some uh, successful stories on, uh, uh, from some countries, especially uh, in Eastern Europe and uh, in uh, North, uh, North Europe as well. So I think the Prada expansion is a big challenge to ASUS, but we have good sign uh, for the expansion now. Okay, talking about worldwide sales, you must have different strategies for the Americas, Europe and Asia. And if so, can you briefly describe them? How is the person who's buying your product different in each region? Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, you know, uh, in Asia Pacific, you can see so many local computer more or computer browsers. So that means you know people all go to the same place, and uh, they can shop. They can shop around from all local stores. Uh, normally, in one uh, big building, you can see 100 or even 200 stores locally. So uh, the buying behavior is quite different uh, in Asia from the Europe. Uh, in states, uh, normally people go to the computer. Uh, sorry, people go to the uh, go to the plaza to buy products. So you can see so many local uh, retailers, and sometimes people also shop from online. But uh, but in Europe, we can still leverage so many local retailers because you know for especially for, for our multiple business, people still rely on the local assembly. So I think the difference can uh, can uh, the, the the difference is very uh, obvious. Uh, now we are trying to uh, gather three different kinds of customers, especially for our component business. One is the retailer as well. Uh, the second one is local resellers. The third one is the uh, VAR and the SI. Because uh, for some commercial customers or uh, SMB customers, they will buy 
from those uh, local bar and SIs. So I think we, we should provide the uh, best product for them to easily assemble by themselves. Okay. There are quite a few tier one companies that sell motherboards graphics. Why would somebody buy a Zeus in particular? What reasons can you put forward for that? Mm -hmm. Okay, you know, uh, in terms of the uh, PC, now there are two directions. One is the branded, uh, branded uh, system. Another one is the so-called Chrome PC. Or you can say uh, it's, it's local DIY, or no matter it's DIY by person or DIY by the SIs. So uh, one challenge for everybody is, you know, that is the open platform open platform. So basically, the compatibility is the biggest challenge for everybody. However, from Asus point of view, we provide not only Manable itself, but also a VGA card, ODD drive, and other component products. So we uh, internally, we test by ourselves completely. And now, uh, Asus Manable is still the biggest, biggest uh, brand in the world. So uh, if, you, if you buy Asus other components, you uh, bear in mind, you should have the best compatibility with Asus Motherboard because of the biggest market share we have. Okay, a personal question. Yes. Which is your favorite Asus product? Okay, uh, basically... It's I a big choice, isn't there? I've seen <laughs> your catalog and it's about 300 pages, or it seems that way. Okay, you know, now at home, uh, I have two Asus routers because uh, in, my, uh, in my home, I have three stories. So uh, I, uh, you know, I have... I have two sons and of course one wife. So at home we have seven we have seven PCs, including the desktop, notebook, and the net, uh, netbooks. So every single unit should uh, should uh, should access the internet easily. So that, that's why I use the wireless router. And the based on ASUS router, that is very 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 easy to in install. So normally even I am not at home always, but my wife can easily uh, uh, operate it. And if uh, there is some problem. Uh, my wife, okay, uh, even she's a housewife, but she can uh, install, she can, you know, maintain it uh, easily by, by herself. So I think the installation, the maintenance is very, very easy from ASUS wireless router. That's, that's why I like it very well. Okay. So that's Jackie Sue, Vice President of Global Sales for Open Platforms. He loves routers. We're going to come back to the stand a bit later and see what else ASUS has to offer. Check back for more on Hexus TV.